പക്ഷെ ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ നമ്മൾ അതിനെ കുറിച്ച് മോഡിഫൈ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് വി ക്യാൻ സ്റ്റിൽ കോൾ ഇറ്റ് റിസോർട്ടോ ഓ എനിത്തിങ് എൽസ് വിറ്റ് യു ലൈക്ക് ടു കോൾ ഇറ്റാലിയൻ റിസോർട്ടോയ്ക്കകത്ത് റിസോർട്ടോ റൈസ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യും ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി സിമിലർ ടു അവർ മോട്ടാർ റൈസ് ഇഫ് യു വൺ എസ് എ ബട്ട് വി ആർ നോട്ട് യൂസിങ് റൈസ് ടുഡേ ഇൻസ്റ്റെഡ് വി വിൽ യൂസ് ടു സൂപ്പർ ഫുഡ് വൺ ഈസ് കോളിഫ്ലവർ അത് വൺ ഈസ് കിനോവ ഇത് രണ്ടും റിച്ച് ഇൻ പ്രോട്ടീൻസ് ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ് വെരി ബെനിഫിഷ്യൽ ഫോർ ഹെൽത്ത് on top mega always like to have some meat in it so uh, i have bought uh, also some chicken so we can add in it's another another set of protein to the dish yeah um adana uh, main ingredients okay so let's start off huh? yep so we will uh, start with a little bit of oil so if you have oil and water it will burst so be prepare for that adding some oil after little bit of oil again like i said you know moderate of anything is good okay. um yeah just be careful with the quantity of oil that you use in the food huh? um don't confuse yourself any any oils uh, like i said before is bad uh, it's just that we can't avoid oil in most of the dishes uh, but we just got to make sure that the quantities are very less that we use okay so the, i think the oil is start started to talk so that means you need to put the ingredients in uh like put onions onions yeah onions, onions is very good uh mm-hmm. is i mean it's it's one of the ingredient that we use in most of the cooking mm-hmm. then we put ginger Some, uh, no, no that's garlic 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 is very essential for uh, for italian italian cooking yeah. um they like a lot of garlic again garlic is very good for 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 the for our body it helps in digestion uh it's very good for gastric um yeah it gives a nice flavor to the dish as well um unlike indian nammude nadan nadan bhashanam pole europeans don't cook their food too much i mean uh, onion yeah. daanengilum yeah. they don't make it brown they sort of make it soft uh, from once it's soft you can actually add in ingredients eh? there's no harm in it because we are very used to the masala spices uh, but they are not used to those kind of spices so. yeah it's more their food is more blunt more blunt, more blunt. Yeah, yeah more blunt they they still tasty but not uh, the spice levels are not as we use that's yeah. that's only different yeah Um so here you can see the onions have changed the color the garlic has sort of changed the color um, I love the smell you know the yeah. smell of the yeah. garlic but it's still on oil Yeah Again uh, quinoa as i said mm-hmm. um is is a grain so we could add in the cauliflower Yeah Yeah thing that Cauliflower which is i think quite good for it's also an antioxidant right Yeah and a lot of proteins pro- packed with proteins, proteins yeah so vegetarians don't have to actually eat uh, uh, chicken or yeah. meat or prawns to have proteins that's a lot of protein in that mm-hmm. so you just like um the and um brown yes. color can okay, no. no we don't uh, again cauliflower nammal uh, well, the normal florets you just chop it up yeah. you get smaller you, you need to break them into smaller namaku cheruda ariyan so it cooks faster pinna kadikan elupo undam velli piece cauliflower is difficult to eat yeah. and i think it's not too filling as well no, like no, again no no right? yeah when when you cook cauliflower you have a nice smell coming out yeah and again nammude food onnu over cook cheyunnilla it doesn't have mash potato wala alla it has to be crunchy and still you need, need the shape of the of the cauliflower in the dish okay. so we have to still wait Oh yeah. my god, the alaga smell. Yeah. The smell is so good. <laughs> and uh, the next thing we can add is the coconut. Again coconut. Which is a uh, lot of the health benefits. Of all the Malayali. Yes, favorite right. of all the Malayalis and uh, now uh, and treated as one of the best ingredients uh, to be used around the world. Oh, okay. uh, so be proud of. <coughs> okay. Mm. We can reduce the temp- the temperature a bit because mm. we don't want to burn it as well. Yeah. Um again, anytime uh, cooking tip is that if you feel that 
your pan is too hot, cool add it some down, water. cool it down, add, add some, some water, water, reduce the fire. Yeah. Yeah, we go. We're not using a lot of masala here. We're not no. at all using any masala. No, nothing. Right? I mean, all I would add Everything is just black is just pepper. Like, yeah, black yeah, pepper. Yeah. Okay. Um, again, mm -hmm. if you like to add masalas, just feel free. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can add mulagudi dam, mallipudi dam, manjal dam. You can add. Yeah. Oh, we can uh, do that. We also. can do that also. Okay. I mean, um, what do you want? If you want me to do that, I can do that. But otherwise, this is the basic. Okay. Uh, you can add garam masala to it. Uh, if, you, if your kids will like to have a bit of spicy, some masala in it. Feel free, add in masala, there's no problem. Yeah. Okay. But usually outside the Atre Marker, they don't use a lot of masala. No, so. not, not, not much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so spice, this, yes, yeah. spice, people like spice. Spice doesn't yeah. need masala, spice can be black pepper, black pepper. can be red chilies, yeah. Yeah. can be your cinnamon. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be uh, so we're waiting it to waiting boil, it to kinda? become sort of a bit softer okay. because I've pre-cooked my quinoa. I okay. uh, don't want to mash it up. Mm -hmm. um, and how did you cook this one? Just boil like like That's we it. like we cook oh. the the rice. The, the rice it. is just in the water. Once oh. the water is boiled, put the quinoa inside. And you boil it a bit, and then you start to see the sprouts coming up, and then you strain yeah. it off. Namala ari akka utinwala na telacha velathleke quinoa eda boil amba namu kariyam betum. It it opens up. Uh, strain it. That's that simple it is. Yeah. Now we can add it. When are you the most happiest in cooking? When it comes to cooking? Well, uh, when it comes to cooking, I'm not happy when I cook it. When I, it's when, when someone finishes eating it. That's when I'm really happy because uh, the secret is if somebody finish the, your plate that means the food was nice namal anengilum if the food is nice yeah. that means the plate will be empty right. uh, or <laughs> you, you shouldn't be uh, or uh. if you're too full then you won't eat but in general case people don't come to the restaurant to be half empty they would be coming that's to right. enjoy the meal yeah that's right. uh, so that's uh, that's my happiest moment mm -hmm. and let me ask you another thing how yeah. many cuisines are you uh, can you you know are you capable of making um good question um uh, I mean, I've been quite long in this industry. Yes. Uh, and how long again? I've been 22 years in this 22 industry. 22 yeah. years. Yeah. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah. Then, then uh, many, many of the cuisines. My, I mean, Italian, Mexican, Indian, um, some of Thai, some Chinese. Uh, then, then various cuisines. I mean, I, I love. The, if you ask me which is the best cuisine, to be honest, I, I can't answer that because every cuisine has got his best dishes and every cuisine has got the best ingredients uh, that they use in. I think that's what yeah. even a singer would say because when you ask a singer, hey, the part on it, it right. they'll be like, I think I like this one. I mean, everything has, a, they won't have a definite answer, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I think that's what even the chef also is saying. Quite interesting anyway. Yeah. So, okay. So, so now it's pretty much all soft. Uh, yeah. Even the cauliflower has become translucent. Mm -hmm. uh, now we can add coconut milk. Okay. So we added coconut and coconut milk. Yes. 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 Again, this dish is very, very light. Um, we will add chicken at a, at a later stage. Uh, just, just a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let it boil a bit and then you can add the chicken in. You know. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Again, you don't need too many chicken. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just adding chicken again because your kids will say, oh, where's the mama, where's the chicken in the dish? And yeah. this is just to sort of, you know, entice them that there is chicken in the dish. But uh, as I said, this is packed with a lot of proteins and, and vitamins. You don't need to add too much chicken. Don't don't over, over you know, eat uh, or over, what do you call, feed the kids, you know. Um, let's add the chicken now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's enough. The chicken is, pretty, pretty the chicken is raw. Nice. Uh, I have just sliced, sliced. I've sliced them yeah. so it cooks up easily. Um, it's pretty easy to pretty make. Easy. You can do this by yourself, you know. <laughs> yeah. So he's already given me the responsibility, and he's told my parents already, yeah. uh, who's watching this, yeah. uh, that you know, yeah, I'm giving you her. She's already learned it. Now it's my responsibility to to make it and to 
have a healthy food back in the family. Yeah, your, 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 your brothers and sisters should be, should be having a healthy lifestyle now. Yeah, yeah because uh, of me and because of Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> For everyone watching, watching this episode, uh, my message to, to, to all of you, uh, those parents out there, those kids out there, you know, uh, I, I would always emphasize on this, you know, try to eat healthy food, avoid the junk. Um, you know, you can always have some time to cook your food. And nowadays, if you go to the markets, you get everything prepared. You get chopped onions, you got chopped garlic. Yeah. Everything is sort of prepared. You just need to buy them, put it in your boxes, in the fridge, you know. It literally takes, as you see, it literally takes 10 to 15 minutes for you to cook a nice meal. Gotcha. And if you get your kids involved in this, and if, if they just see the cauliflower in the market, they wouldn't eat it. But if they are there in the process, ask them to help uh, you healthy, peel, yeah. peel the onions, clean the tomatoes, cut this, cut that. You know, educate like them, enjoy. educate them, let them also learn. They might enjoy it because yeah. once, I mean, if, if you're doing cooking, you will eat it. Mm -hmm. It's the same with everyone. Mm -hmm. Let them let them also see this, this cauliflower can be cooked in this way. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And they will eat. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's how it is. And you never know, they might just give you some ideas also, right? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Because I I see most of the kids when they come to school with different box. Mm -hmm. What this there is chicken nuggets in it. Oh, yeah. There is sausages in it. Mm -hmm. But what are you feeding them? You know, you're feeding them junk. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if you can feed them things what you've done, you know, in, the, in this episode or the past episodes, you know, mm -hmm. they will really enjoy it. Yeah, they will really enjoy it. Dinner How long does it stay? I mean, food. Okay, food. Science is different. Mm -hmm. um, you have to literally cool it down. Right. Okay. Right. So how can we cool it down is basically bigger container, uh, If you have a fan, put the fan on. Put on cool on. Cool on the food in a container, keep it in the fridge. It can stay for at least two to three days. Yeah. So again, you can see you can use it for the next day. If I'm your dish, if this itself, yeah. Next day, put some masala. It's a masala, so it's it's different, it's yeah. Different, yeah. So it's a different dish, you know. So mm -hmm. we can play around. Mm -hmm. uh, we make, let's say, curry. Mm -hmm. The next day it becomes uh, a masala. Then the third day becomes dry fry. That's so right. you can play around with the food. So mm -hmm. same with same with any kind of food. Okay, I think we are pretty much done. Okay. I will I will add a bit of butter. So, so I don't. Is going to be a little of cholesterol. Li little bit of yeah cholesterol, uh, but it's fine. I mean, uh, this is where I close my eyes, taste or health. I say okay, bit of both. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a little bit of butter. Uh, it'll not harm. Trust me, uh, because we got a lot of good things in it. You know, uh, lot of good with a little bit of bad is not going to harm you. Everything is in moderate. <laughs> Everything in moderate. Yes. yes. Um, another ingredient which I wouldn't uh, suggest you to use a lot is again cheese. Um, I would put a little bit of cheese again here. Um, again, little bit is a pinch. That's it. But that's up to our. Uh, it's up to. It's up because, to. Uh, we added butter. Yeah. So I just wanted to know. Then I'm going cheese Is it going to be fine? Or if it's, you don't want, it can. You stop. can avoid it. You can avoid it. Um, like I said, I'm gi I'm showing you uh, what we can do. It's 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 a journey. It's again. Uh, when I'm adding this butter and the cheese, I always precaution you. Uh, not necessarily, but if you want to add, add it. If you want a bit of a taste, you can add it, no problem. But again, smaller quantities. Yeah? Don't, don't soak the whole dish in butter or cheese. That's not the idea. Um, we haven't added salt yet. I'll finish it off with some salt. Salt which flavors any food. Yes, salt, food. salt right. flavors every food. Uh, again, in moderate. Mm -hmm. It's, it's pretty much done now. Okay. Yeah, I see it's... Want to smell it? Yeah. <laughs> it smells good. It Very good. good. Alright, so we are, we, are, we are done with this dish. If you like to add a bit of coriander, I can also add a bit of coriander in it. Okay. Uh, just to give some color to the dish. Okay. Yeah. So, the dish is done. Okay. Cauliflower and chicken risotto with quinoa. So awesome. there is no rice in this. Uh, again, if you want to add rice, you can add rice, but I would recommend you to try this without the rice. Again, rice is too much of starch, too much of carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Let's avoid all those things. Let's have more of the, the, the protein, the vitamins, and the nutrients. Right. Yeah. So, so let's go. I want to make you to try this dish. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
I will serve it in a pot for you. Mm -hmm. Good. It does look very yummy already. Now this is like a good one portion. Um, <laughs> you know. So anyone who doesn't know the use of quinoa, I've shown a preparation of quinoa. Um, you can add more quinoa if you like, but this is more than enough for, for a portion. Um, so enjoy. Yeah. I will also try just to make sure that I'm feeding you the right thing. Mm. It's mm. good. I'm gonna mm. try it too. Okay? It's amazing. Well, uh, it's just as perfect. Yeah. I cannot tell you this is so good. I wish my partner was as perfect as this. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Keep it. <laughs> I cannot tell you this is so good. Trust me, it's very good. good. You wanna have some too? No, I'm fine. I just wanna check. Everything is, is correct, so I've shown you the, the right recipe then. Yeah. I love the, the taste of cheese is coming out. Yeah. And, and the cauliflower. cauliflower. Yeah. It's so well cooked. Yeah. So good. Actually, I basically don't like cauliflower, but this is so good, trust me. Yeah. I'm not joking. And <laughs> well, I think you should try this on. So, <clears throat> thank you so much for this. Most welcome. This is so good. And I'm going to definitely try it out. Back at home. Yeah. Make sure the responsibility is well done yeah. from his side. Now we are going to make a risotto without rice, and it is an Italian dish. It's a must try. Very highly recommended. And uh, let us know how it tastes. And yes, you can always contact the chef here, and you can see him. Tell them about how it is. Yeah, please do try it. It's, yep. uh, it's with cauliflower and I'm, I'm, I recommend uh, you to feed your kids yep. some nice healthy mm -hmm. food. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.